Hi hey y'all, we are gonna make cranberry almond fudge. It only takes five ingredients and it's so simple to make, no cooking involved or anything like that. And you use your hands in making it. Uh, it's just a kind of a thick texture and it's much easier to use your hands. So I have a little where I had a hangnail on my finger. So I don't wanna put my hands in it with that little hangnail place, so I'm gonna wear a glove to do it. And I've got a new tripod, but it seems like the, that it wants to flop around. So I'm hoping that um, we get through this okay. But if not, just know that I have the new tripod and I'm trying to work it out where um, my videos will be a little better. So anyway, Let's get started, and here is our bowl. Excuse if you see my messy kitchen, please excuse it, and my countertop I use for everything in the world, and it's got all kinds of paint and stuff on it, but anyway, I am making a double recipe of this, but I'm going to in the description box below, I'm going to write just the normal uh, recipe, not the doubled amount. So, um, it'll be easier for you if you decide to make it to see what to add. So, for the double recipe, I'm going to put two blocks of the cream cheese. And here are my packages from the two blocks. And I put them in my bowl my Pioneer Woman Bowl that I love. And to that, for the double recipe, you put four pounds of confectioner sugar or powdered sugar. This is a two pound package and I'm putting two of these in here. So I'm cutting that open. And I'm gonna kind of get the first one stirred up some before I add the second one. And this fudge is wonderful. Mom, we'll put coal right there. That's great. I'm doing video. Can I get it? Uh, just go around and talk to Daddy. Okay. That's my Kaylin. She didn't realize I was doing a video. She's usually pretty good about not interrupting. So, we are just trying to blend this um, powdered sugar with the cream cheese, and you want your cream cheese softened. Usually, unless the recipe calls for it, uh, if you have your ingredients at room temperature, they usually work out better Especially if, like, you're making a pie crust, you'll have a more tender pie crust if you'll have your flour and everything, except usually your water, or maybe even your butter. But anyway, that's kind of pretty well blended, so we'll go to the next powdered sugar. And I'm making two recipes because, or doubling the recipe because I plan on giving a lot of this away to family that comes over tomorrow because I know my oldest daughter really loves this and her oldest daughter. And we are not a huge almond fan my husband and I so I'm not going to put a whole lot of almonds but I will like I say have the recipe and you do what what your family likes and this is really kind of dry today, but it will um, 
from the cranberries and stuff, it will um, get more creamy. So to this, you add, I'm looking at my recipe here, um, a teaspoon of almond extract, which I don't have, so I'm just going to add vanilla extract. And that's two teaspoons. And then you mix that up. You'll have a big old muscle by the time you get all this mixed. But it'll be worth it because it's really good fudge. You just mix and mix. And you're going to think it's strange that we add fresh cranberries to this. But you will not believe how good it is when you taste it. So, we're getting down to where it's holding together a little bit better. Just a little bit more, a little bit more um, stirring around. And it should be good. Okay. This is all the almonds I'm going to add, and it is two ounces. The recipe calls for a cup per recipe, which would be two cups in here, which would be a huge amount of almonds. And if you like that many, by all means put it, but I had this little two ounce pack and that is plenty for us. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna um, get those mixed in. And I apologize that it's taking so long to get this blended up, but it is a lot of um, powdered sugar for the amount of liquid. I think if I squeeze it kind of instead of just stirring, it is um, doing better. And as this sits, like I said, the um, the powder powdered sugar that doesn't get um, moisture on it will will. So anyway, here. This is about as best as I can do. Here it is. Um, stirred up. So what I'm going to do next, this really comes off a glove better than it does your hand. But what I'm going to do on the regular recipe, you'd use a little 8 by 8 pan. I'm going to use this um, 9 by 11, I think it is. And you put half of your mixture and just eyeball it. And put half of your mixture down and just spread it out. 
and you don't have to uh, grease your pan or anything like that. But just spread this out. And this is not an easy recipe to, to um, do in some parts of it. You gotta get down in it. But I think if you give it a try, you're going to be very pleased with it. So this is spread out now. Okay. And what we're going to do next, I'm going to take this glove off for a, mi a minute. What we're going to do next is take a bag of cranberries straight out of the bag. Um, I didn't even think about washing these. So... I'm going to give them a rinse off because they need to be. Hold on one second. And I apologize. Okay. So now we're going to put two cups of cranberries on our fudge. If you wanted to put more, you could. And I believe I will. So you put your cranberries then, if you're wearing a glove, you put your glove back on. And I'm going to start taking this other part of the fudge. And I'm going to start putting it on top. powder is down here so I'm gonna have to figure something out you know when I cook a lot of times things don't go good for me <gasps> just a minute and I'll be with you Kaylin is getting impatient So, as you can see, there's a lot of the powdered sugar down in there. But, like I said, it's going to, to um, get wet with the moisture. I am going to cover this. And um, it needs to sit. For several hours and this is a uh, something I'm going to use tomorrow at Christmas so I'm not going to taste it because it has to sit like I said for three hours at least three hours to overnight so I you know I'll probably be in bed by the time this is done but what I want to do is cut a piece and then I'll stick it back just for you to see. So just a second. So I'm going to cut a piece right here just so you can see how pretty it is.
and I don't know if you can see that or not but it is really um, sweet and festive and delicious and this would make if you like to make presents to, uh, for friends and family this would be a good recipe to make and give so that is it for this and look for the recipe in the description and I will see you next time Bye -bye. this is my friend Derek and he's here having Christmas uh, lunch with us and he is gonna try the um, cranberry um, fudge almond fudge so let me get that's what basically it looks like so Derek go ahead and give it a try let me see here Mmm, that's good. Well, thank you. That's amazing. I appreciate that. You're welcome. So, anyway, thank I hope you, you have a Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.